Okay, so in this video, I'll be showing you how to utilize the van der Waals equation of state in Python to solve for the specific volume of a gas. And in this case, we're solving for the volume of ammonia. So first, what we want to do is import a package we're going to use. So import SimPy. So do that first. And once you're done, let's go to the inputs we need to solve the equation. So firstly is the gas constant, which equals to 0 0.08206, U with the units of L, ATM, mole, K. Then we have the pressure, uh, which equals to 43.4 ATM. Then the temperature, which equals to 420 Kelvin. So these uh, values may change depending on your problem, but again, you're going to need all these values, the RP and T values. And so again, I mentioned that we're using ammonia gas, right? So we need certain properties of ammonia, specifically the critical temperature and critical pressure. So we have to input that. So let's put um, properties of ammonia. And uh, the critical temperature of ammonia is 405.5 Kelvin. And the critical pressure of ammonia is 101.3 uh, ATM. All right. So with that, we have the inputs necessary and we have the uh, properties of ammonia. We can move on to uh, writing down the van der Waals equation of state. Let's write that down as van der Waals EOS. So if you look back at the van der Waals EOS, which looks like this, we have everything. We have RT, we have P. We're trying to find V here and we have A and B because A and B basically equals to this, but um, a and B are complex um, numbers, right? So let's just write down what A and B equal to um, to make uh, life easier later when we write down the whole equation. And I'll show you what I mean. So A equals to 27 times R squared, whoops, times TC squared divided by PC divided by 64 and B equals to R times TC divided by eight times PC. So this again, A and B, I just got from here, right? A equals to this and B equals to this. Because later on, when we want to write down this equation in Python, we don't have to write down this whole thing, but instead we can just write down A and B. So with that, we can move on to solving for the specific volume. And the first thing we have to do is use this package here. And we write down V equals to simpy dot symbols v and why we do this um uh i'll show you very soon but after that we can move on to writing down the whole van der waals equation which f we write down as f our function equals to uh, p minus r times t whoops capital r here times t divided by v minus v plus a divided by v squared. And this here is the EOS equation. But so let's look at the EOS, right? P. Um, well, uh, in this case, I moved P to the other side. So we end up getting something like this, right? P minus RT over. So it's the same thing here, but you just move P to the other side. Well, sorry, you move um, everything else to the other side. And uh, yeah, you isolate everything and it equals to zero such that you know like when you're solving for any variable and you set the other side equals to zero you can just move things around and you can solve for the missing variable right so that's what we're doing here and basically again um as i've mentioned we have to do v equals simpy dot symbols v because in this case um python acknowledges v as the symbol or the letter v here and so that we're solving for the letter v which equals to our v so it's it's a bit uh, funky, but um, that's how it works. And so we have to do this step. And eventually, with this, we've written our equation, our EOS, we can just solve for the specific volume using one last um, line of code, which is print dot senpai dot solve f v. So in this case, we're solving for the v in here, the specific volume in this F equation. So if we do that and we print, we get this these values here. And again, if you remember the van der Waals equation is what? It's a cubic equ equation, right? So when you solve for the roots of that equation, you get you should get three roots, right? 
but some of the roots here make sense, some don't. So we have one root here, we have another root here, and we have another root here. And the only root value that makes sense, or looks normal, is this one here. So we can determine that this is the specific volume, or the V, of our equation. So this is the answer uh, for this equation. So that's it basically, and if you have any comments, you can always ask me in the comment section below. Thank you.